Here's some good acting. Everybody knows that the Republicans don't want the Iraqis to pay for reconstruction because that would give them control over who gets the contracts. Senator Ben Nelson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. General Petraeus, Ambassador Crocker, first I thank you for your, your service and to say how proud I am of the American men and women who are serving uh, in the military uh, in Iraq and elsewhere around the world. Uh, I might add that as a proud Nebraskan, a proud American, I uh, witnessed uh, on one of the national news channels an American, Captain Logan Veith, uh, embedded with the uh, Iraqi army in Sadr City leading forth a challenge and doing a remarkable job. We're all proud of him and those who he represents as well. Um, in, in 2003, as, as Senator Collins mentioned, uh, Senator Bai and I and others uh, introduced legislation to require that at least part of the money that was going for reconstruction in that uh, supplemental be considered a loan forgivable to a grant uh, part of it alone, but part of it also alone to be forgivable to a grant if the rest of the countries would forgive the IOUs of Iraq that they held. Uh, the administration blocked it, even though it passed the Senate, uh, because they said that they were going to the donors conference and this would impair their ability to get the other countries that, as part of the coalition uh, to be donors. Well, it turned out to be a lenders conference in general because the others did loan the money. Now we have an opportunity to go back and look at what uh, 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 Secretary Wolfowitz said in 2003. He said we really ought to uh, be able to get our money back from Iraq because they're, they're, through their oil revenues, they're going to be able to pay for the war themselves, finance it themselves. That was re in re uh, reconstruction, not the war, but the reconstruction. Um, we, uh, we have uh, uh, your uh, comment, uh, Ambassador Crocker, that uh, they're in a position soon or something to be able to to take on that responsibility soon to me means now uh, what I think we should do is in this supplemental and I'll introduce legislation with others to be able to do this to to make any further reconstruction money alone purely and simply to be repaid not forgiven and any other money that is that has been appropriated but unspent to date uh, alone as well when Iraq is today on the basis of the $111 barrel oil and $3.25 and upwards uh, gas at the pump here in the United States, it just does not seem uh, responsible for us to continue to borrow from our grandchildren in China and other places around the world to be able to finance, in effect, what is their, uh, their future opportunity. It seems to me that now is the time. Uh, you also, Ambassador Crocker, said that you think that they should be doing this soon. Is, will there be a change in the thinking of the administration on this? Will they now support legislation uh, that could be worked out to, to make that now, make soon now uh, and into the future on, this, uh, on these future appropriations and past appropriations that are unspent? Uh, Senator, there, there is uh, very much um, a, a, an interest um, in moving the financing um, from us to the Iraqis. Well, I think uh, you answered my question, but, you know, there was an interest back in 2003 when uh, uh, Secretary Wolfowitz said that they ought to be able to uh, uh, finance uh, their own reconstruction. I, I'm trying to figure out whether soon can be now. Uh, uh, Senator, with respect to reconstruction, uh, soon basically is now. Uh, we, we are... In terms of a loan? In terms of uh, the United States no longer being involved in the physical reconstruction business. Um, uh, uh, well, we what about the money that's in the, uh, the current uh, supplemental uh, that uh, is there for reconstruction? Is that, is that structured as a loan? Uh, uh, sir, that, that is not... Uh, in, in my definition, it is not for reconstruction. Um, uh, these are for, um, for example, uh, some USAID programs that we think are very important to stabilization um, um, uh, in, in conjunction with the military's SERP spending. Uh, we uh, will move into immediate post-kinetic situations uh, uh, and get people going with, um, uh, with jobs and things like that. Well, then let's call it post-kinetic uh, uh, aid as well. 
it seems to me that if we're paying for what, what is not, let's say, military hardware, uh, because they're picking up more of the costs, uh, we ought to be looking at training uh, costs that we're engaged in. I, I just think that there's a point in time, and it's now, when we need to find a way to make sure that Iraq is financing more of its own pre present and future rather than incurring those costs ourselves uh, by, when they're adding 50 to $60 billion to surplus at a time when we're developing hundreds of billions of dollars of deficit, it just doesn't make sense for us to be the financier of first uh, resort. Uh, uh, sir, I'm, as I said, I, I'm committed to that. Uh, at the same time, uh, I, I don't think uh, you have a, a one-size-fits-all situation here. Uh, a number of our programs, uh, particularly those that get down to the local level uh, that our PRTs, for example, identify and execute, um, the, uh, the Iraqi government is really not going to be positioned to, to pick that up or even, even identify it. Um, well, I don't care whether they can do that. We can pay it, but let, how, whether, they can, whether they can get the money out of their treasury or not is secondary. If we can do it, we should do it, and then they should, they should uh, repay us. And what about the money that's already been appropriated but unspent? Will that now not be spent? Um, uh, the, uh, again, if you're talking about reconstruction, reconstruction. Uh, uh, you know, we're down to like the last two or three percent of the, um, uh, of the IRRF um, uh, projects. These are things that are underway that we're going to be bringing to completion. Well, I think there are billions and billions of dollars that would fall into that category. And for me, a billion dollars is not pencil dust. Um, uh, I understand the point, Senator. At the same time, again, these are projects that are underway. Um, I think we'd have to think very carefully if we want to risk a halt in ongoing uh, uh, completion while we try and negotiate with the Iraqis on... Uh, well, I think that's all well and good, but I wish we'd have thought more carefully earlier and got this set, such as back in 2003. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.